world news. Italy prosecutors seize batch of AstraZeneca vaccine after death of man. EU's Breton says Pfizer can help offset AstraZeneca vaccine delays. Russia says it will impose restrictions on Twitter. Syria foils suicide bombing plot in capital Damascus. Germany to halt AstraZeneca vaccinations, health ministry. Torture methods allegedly used in the death of prominent Burmese activist, Zor Mayat Lin, in Myanmar. Norovirus in Sweden linked to shrimp from Estonia. The US accounted for 37% of global arms sales during the 2016-2020 period and sold arms to 96 countries. Almost half of its sales went to the Middle East, the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute report said. US exports increased 15% compared to the 2011-2015 period. Thousands rally at Australia's parliament to demand justice for sexual assault victims. Netherlands halts use of AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. AstraZeneca finds, no evidence, of blood clot risk as Netherlands becomes fifth European country to suspend the AstraZeneca vaccine. The EU is to launch legal action against the UK after the government unilaterally decided to delay the implementation of parts of the special Brexit arrangements for Northern Ireland. Chinese Tesla rival Xpeng Motors gets $76 million investment from government. Yemeni journalist freed from jail after Biden administration, urged UAE to use influence for release. Spain to launch trial of four-day working week. Avalanche kills 25 Taliban fighters en route from Pakistan. Taiwan advises Taiwanese companies operating in Myanmar to fly the island's flag and hang signs stating they are from Taiwan to avoid being confused with China, after Chinese-financed factories were set ablaze. China shocked after 13-year-old allegedly murders 6-year-old boy, renewing debate over age of criminal responsibility. Australian Parliament refuses to label China's Xinjiang actions genocide. Thousands protest Quebec's COVID-19 lockdown measures, several arrests made, Montreal Police. North Korea's Yongbyon Nuclear Center, signs of activity at the radiochemical laboratory facilities. Boris Johnson, deeply concerned, over footage of police breaking up vigil for Sarah Everett. Kremlin critic Navalny's Instagram account confirms he is being held in a prison camp in Vladimir region. Beijing choked in dust storm amid heavy northwest winds. International cobalt prices soar as China stockpiles metal used in phones, electric cars, 